Hello everyone. You may meet some people that are already angry. You may get caught in a situation where that person may blame you for their angry or their anger, I mean. But I think in many cases some of those people were already angry. So some of those people may blame you for this thing and that thing and say that you are the cause for this going wrong and that going wrong. And it may not make any sense. Let me give you an example. I am going to use some random names. Let's use the name Johnny. So Johnny is constantly in a very bad mood. He is angry so much. A lot of that anger came from because he didn't have a close relationship with his father when he was younger. He has low self-esteem. One day, Sarah stepped on his shoe. Johnny started to yell at her as if she poured boiling water on him. Now, let me ask you, like, Is Johnny really mad at Sarah because of that? Or was he already angry? Yes, he may have. Okay. He does not like that Sarah stepped on, on his shoe. But the reaction that he gave to Sarah... Was that really called for? Or can you say much of that anger that Johnny gave to Sarah, can you say it was only because of what Sarah did? And I don't think so. I believe much of that anger, much of that meanness came from back in the past. Whatever happened where he could not have a close relationship with his father, I believe much of it stems from that. Let me give you another example. Johnny came to work late. His boss approached him nicely speaking about why he was late. Guess what Johnny did? Johnny started to yell, started to say, why does everyone have to pick on him, have to give him a hard time? I guess many people like this are victims. Victims no matter what. So Johnny started to yell, started to cuss, started, you know, moving around his arms, acting very ignorantly. Is it the boss fault for Johnny behaving in that way? Absolutely not. Johnny has a problem. Once again, it goes back to he was not close to his father when he was younger. You may ask me, Uncle Kev, what is your point? Okay. I believe there are many hurting people out there. Imagine being depressed so much 
imagine having very bad thoughts in your mind. Bad thoughts telling you that you are no good. No one loves you. Like you are better off dead. Like you are not worthwhile. You are trash. You are a throwaway child. No good will come to you. You will not prosper. Like, imagine all those negative thoughts going around in your head, being depressed so much, having little energy, feeling down, you know, you can't really sleep, you can't really eat, eat, and if you do sleep, you sleep so much like, then you may do illegal things to stay high or to stay drunk, you may take some pills and stuff like that. Like, you want to stay out of your mind. As it seems, you want to stay out of your body. So you may stay drunk and high or whatever else so that you can stop feeling or try to stop feeling the way that you feel. Imagine being that way. So if someone comes to you and accidentally step on your shoe, or do something very little, or you perceive something as wrong that a person did to you, you may explode with anger. You may begin accusing a person of things that isn't true. Like, you are striving so hard to keep it together, to keep your mind straight, to survive day after day. So if a confrontation does happen between you and a person, of course, you may not behave in the right way. Does this make any sense? I think it is real easy to say, you know, that person has a problem, this person over here has a problem. That person over there has a problem. Yes, they have a problem, but you may not know how it feels to be them going day after day trying to survive, trying to keep their mind together, trying to do simple tasks around the house. Does this make any sense? I believe some of those people don't want to be the way they are. They may want to change, but they may not know how to do it. So many of those people may seem like angry people, but I am not saying they aren't accountable for their actions. At the same time, I believe much of those people have a very hard time living. And I think this is one of the reasons why probably many of them want to take their lives. If you know what I mean by that. Some people, you can't really take what they say seriously. You can't really take the way they behave in a serious way. I am not saying you should take disrespect. I am not saying that. At the same time, don't feel very, very bad because a person did this or did that to you. This person was very mean, so... I am going to feel very bad about what they said to me. This reminds me of something, and let me tell you. 
I was helping someone in the past. I was helping someone by giving that person a ride to work. I have no idea what was going on. I came to his house, apartment, apartment, I guess. And that person was running late. If I remember correctly, I was calling and calling and calling. And um, I was thinking maybe this person does not want to go to work today. So I was um, heading to work. After I got so far, <laughs> that person called me asking me, where am I? Imagine that. And I told that person where I am, and I think that person raised their voice at me and hung up or whatever. So I came back to that person's place, and that person came outside, and he did not say anything to me. I started to speak to that person how I did not like how he raised his voice and about being late or something. I forget exactly what I said. After a while, <laughs> that person started to yell. You know what? I have been yelled at by people. This person, this person was yelling, I would say, how he yelled at me, it would have to rank in the top five as being really, really loud. I am serious. That person yelled so loudly. And I was thinking, I'm like, what is wrong with this person? Imagine if you had to... Imagine if you had to go to surgery and they had to amputate your leg or something. And let's say you could feel it the whole time while they are doing it. From how that person was yelling at me, it was like that, I would assume. So loud. It was so loud that I figured, like, what is this person's problem? And I believe that man yelled at that volume for about five or more minutes. It was as if he was putting so much passion, so much energy into yelling. Did I deserve to be yelled at like that? I don't think so. With how the situation was, that was not called for at all. Quite honestly, I believe that person was yelling at me as if, like, I did 100 bad things to that person back to back or something. My point is, some people you can't really take seriously. Some people you have to ignore. As Christians, at times, we will take unfair treatment. Sometimes we may be taken advantage of, but that is okay. If you really want to go by what the Bible says, you are going to be out there 
helping people, you are going to be very kind. While trying to help people and trying to be kind to people, some people may see that as a weakness. Some people may see that as like a route to take advantage, if you know what I mean. That is okay. Don't let evil people stop you from doing good for others. Some people that you meet and had a confrontation with, probably much of those people were already angry, were already traumatized. And let me say this, I am not saying I do everything right. I am not saying I am perfect. I am not saying that I am like this angel over here. But anyways, let me stop here. May God bless us.